Yeah, I mean, there's some technical improvements. We did an episode recently um, that aired, I think, two weeks ago, where some a catfish did a really good job with Photoshop. The girl had said, send me a photo of you holding a piece of paper with my name and, like, a, f like a finger or up it or something. <laughs> and so he, f he found a photo of the guy that he was using with his, like, finger up or somehow. Oh and then, like, Photoshopped in a piece of paper with, like, a, his, uh, you know, the hand and, like, a shadow. It was pretty incredible. Like, it was good. <laughs> So you got to watch out for that, because obviously, mm. th technically, some people are better. But I don't know. I, I, I think the stories, while they're all different, all boil down to an age-old mm. sort of fundamental truth about humanity, which is we're, we're all looking for affection and attention and love. And until we find that, and for a lot of people, even when we do, like you're always vulnerable to some outside force sort of bringing in new energy that might inspire or, or engage you in a new, exciting way. Yeah. And that's what a lot of this is about. So yeah. I, I don't know. Are catfish evolving? Sure. Mm -hmm. But I don't think, I think if, you, if, you're, if you're more sophisticated than the sort of standard catfish, you're not really in it for emotional gains. You're a scam artist or you're like a Nigerian prince. Like, the, like <laughs> once you graduate to a certain level of sophistication, you're not trying to just like break hearts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, People are doing that are doing it because they themselves have a broken right. heart. It's like a video game at a certain point. Right. Yeah.